together around the old TV set. Jack and Megan here on a 30 degree morning from Ooh. North Carolina. It is, it's cold. It's cold. How cold is it? Colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. <laughs> you like that one? That's a like good it? one. That's a good one. My mother-in-law's gone, so I shouldn't so pick you on can. Her. My wife told me one time in the radio, quit picking on my relatives. Yeah, but that gives me good banner. What else am I going to talk pick on my about? Relatives. Would you rather do that? It's fun to pick on them and then see who was actually listening. Sometimes, yeah. like during the show, you'll get texts and be like, "Oh, you were yeah. watching." Okay, it was just a little trouble, test. You know, they were to it was you, just right? a little test to see if you were watching. See, I'm bad about picking on Mary, Mary's sister Eleanor in yeah. Atlanta and her cornflake casserole. You know, it's just mm. kind of a standard. You, well, you know, know what that one is chicken yeah. and cornflakes and the corn flakes on top. top. Yeah, it ain't bad, but. We get that a lot. Well, oh, you know, oh. I can't pick on anybody about what's wrong with your earpiece. Well, Is it, it just break? Just like look that? Look at that. Uh, Y'all, these things that are, these you things. see us going like this a lot and messing with our ears, when they start to fall out, yeah. or gonna, it is the most uncomfortable, <laughs> annoying Maybe thing I in the world. A, another size ear. If I had Did it grow? Did your ear grow? What's that? Did your ear grow? There? Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just got to get it to, One, get, get it to stay in there. Now your chin's you hitting the mic. <laughs> Let me see, oh, my goodness. You know what? What we are we going to do with you? Moon, but but you can't, can't adjust your... I, yeah, are you ready now? Ready you ready for, for a show? You throw at me. Well, did you watch the Gamecocks last night? The ladies? No, I did not. Oh, it was a good game. We know we are number one. This is women's basketball. Well, that coach is something else. Uh, yeah, Dawn Staley. Yeah, she's everything. Uh, so we're number one, and we play the number nine, Mississippi State. And that's always a good game. And it was back and forth, and we got a steal at the very end of the game. To win it, 81-79. Who was that wonderful play? Did Asia? Asia did, Wilson? Did, did, no, the lady from last year, the tall lady. Asia Wilson that she now yeah, plays okay. for the right, right. Las Vegas Basin. But we went in without her. Uh huh. Good news. Well, we got a lot of freshmen, so it's it's it, that was fun. That was a, that was a good game. On a cold day, it, I think it's. I need to tell you this. Okay, tell it me. It is National Hugging Day. Now when? Does that make it all okay. better? Okay. It does. Uh, I think women are more into hugs than men. <laughs> I just messed up your mind. Oh, no, here we go again. Is it coming away? It came out again. We shouldn't have hugged. Well, where the, where's the heck's the rest? <laughs> help, I need an earpiece. Help, help. You see it? Uh, I don't see it. You know, we may need, the, 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 our hugging it, made it our earpiece help come me. out. <laughs> Crazy craft lady's coming. Do you see yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it came out. Don't worry. I'll tell. I'll tell you how much longer yeah. we have. Okay. Oh my goodness. Christina She's said, find "You it. just, just let me do all the talking, and you just." <laughs> is that new? <laughs> so, yeah, is that so, so just like a normal day. Just Where like a normal looking? day Where here. We're gonna find it. Watch it be like on me. I, I do do have <laughs> things that women shouldn't say to men, and things women. Men shouldn't say oh, to women. Okay, that should be good. Let me let me Which write. Which would you like first? Let's do what women shouldn't say to men. No, it's yeah, it's in my ear. That's right. <laughs> But we're going to work on that. I think we need a redo. Give it to me. Give it to me. This, you this ready? Is, Question, is, questions okay. that men hate. Okay. Questions Number that one, hate. Where's the IFB? What are you we, thinking? Yeah. Yeah, what were you we thinking? don't like women to t ask us that. Yeah, because Especially, obviously I wasn't thinking when I did whatever. I shouldn't have been thinking about. I wasn't about. thinking when I married you. Yeah. Right? Ooh, All right. How about, okay. do, yeah, how about, uh, do, do you, uh, what is that? Do you love me? Do you uh -huh. love uh -huh. me? Questioning that. Uh -huh. Number three is, uh, am I fat? Women, yeah. You're never going to win on that one. You uh, just immediately change the subject and say something really nice about the other person and change the subject yeah, yeah. as fast as possible. And uh, when women ask men, what should we do for Valentine's Day? That's whatever, another one we don't particularly like to uh, whatever you come want. up with an answer. Whatever you want. Well, what's right. the other? Did you have the reverse I one? Got, yes, I okay. have things that men shouldn't say to women. Ready? Okay, yes. Did I get that right? Uh -huh. uh, boy, you're beginning to look a lot like your mother. Hey, that's a compliment. Well, Just well, said that mama. to me. I'd be like, sure. yeah. Well, and again, men shouldn't say to women, you don't need another pair of shoes. Always need <laughs> oh, and uh, what's a big deal? And men, you shouldn't say, has that dress shrunk? <laughs> yeah, not unless you want to, not unless you want to be sleeping by and, yourself. And, and men nice shouldn't say, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then men shouldn't say this last one. Uh, right. That's not the way my ex did it. Oh, well, cool. Go back to her because I'm out. That hurts. Because <laughs> I'm out. Bye bye. Oh, well, my exes are in Texas. Yes. You were George. You, oh, you were George Strait. Yes. Okay, oh, so George. we didn't get to talk about this yesterday, but there was some really good football over the weekend. Okay. Are you excited about the oh, Super Bowl it, team? The Titans lost. I the was Titans lost. For them. I really was. Yes. So we got the 49ers in and the Kansas City Chiefs. I care not. I guess I'd pull for Kansas City. Well, if you don't it's care. It's closer to South Carolina. Well, you 
point. Or you can do it how I do it sometimes is you pull for whoever has Gamecocks on the team or Clemson Tigers oh, on the right. team. They're so yeah, we've got a right. lot, you know, for the 49ers, you got Debo Samuel who just went oh, off. He, yes. Especially in the playoff games, and then Rashad Fenton, who's well, how about like KC. KC. Sammy Watkins pretty much won the game for KC. You know, he was the fantastic Clemson running back. Now, well, so we got both teams represented yeah. in the Super Bowl. Uh huh. Kansas who's City the has coach? three. Isn't there a coach, a local coach that coached three people that are in the Super Bowl? I saw this on TV somewhere. I mean, you got. A local and, coach coached them in high school. Three men that I were mean, Andy on, Reed is the Bowl. KC, and then Shanahan is the 49ers. So I don't know. I mean, we've got them in the. Let me do some digging. Okay, do some digging. But the other cool thing, because I know sometimes Heather, crazy craft lady, she doesn't necessarily care about like the game, but she likes the random stories that go to it. Yeah. So have you been following along with Katie Sowers at all, Heather? Oh. See, I knew she would know I'm who this so was. She's the, uh, the for the 49ers. She's the assistant offensive coordinator. Coordinator for the 49ers. Yeah, see. His name is Kay? It's a girl. It's a lady, oh, Katie Sowers. She's, she's 33 years old. She is an assistant coach for the 49ers. It's the first time it, a lady is going to be represented in the Super Bowl. And there's Bowl. a commercial about her, right? Yeah, the Microsoft That's one. That's that. where a lot of people kind of first learned well, about her. But hey, she's been well, in the game well, women, for a long time. You know, wouldn't it be nice if we had women football teams? I mean, I'm saying mix them up. It suits the heck out of me. Put them yeah. both on. But remember in Seneca, the little gal that was a kicker? Yes. Or Seneca uh -huh. High School or Pickens High School yeah. a year or two ago? Yeah. <clears throat> See, cool. So that'll be fun stuff. So that just kind of gives you, if you're like, oh, I don't really care about the game, then <coughs> do all the side stories because that's kind of that's kind of what's fun. Uh, you want to do our question of the day? Yes, let's bring in Jamarcus Gaston. Yeah, and while we're having him come over with that uh -huh. drum roll, I've arranged uh, let's <laughs> wish Susie a happy birthday. Susie. Susie's One of our own. Happy birthday, Susie. She's giving you a death stare over there well, in the I audio. Got, I've got the evil look on that bad boy. <laughs> yes. What's your really last good uh, yard sale find? That's, That's the question of the day. Brought uh, to you by Spink. Do you go to yard sales, no, Marcus? I don't. Yeah. This question does not pertain to me. I mean, I'm, I, yeah, don't do good yard sales. No. You know? I, was, I love I a good to, deal, I but I've never, I don't really pull over to people's houses. And, well, see, I'll yeah. stop if something looks like it's brass and glowing in the sun because it might be a musical instrument. I just have a hard time right. picking because the yard sales are usually like early in the morning, and I just don't <laughs> see you like up at, up at 7 a.m. Well, <laughs> let, let me tell you, the few the yard sales I've had, I've had people knock on my door at 5 a.m. Oh, in the I morning. Know. That's a way mm -hmm. of life for some people. I, I like them. I just don't yeah. use my Saturdays for that. You but, know why I don't do yard sales? I saw this story on like one of those paranormal shows yeah. where this lady brought a picture of a man from a yard sale and then that man started appearing in her house what? and it freaked me out. What do you mean? Yeah. Like the man like would just <laughs> appear in her house like she'd be like washing her like hair her chills, and, and then not, she'd look up and be like and him in the mirror in and the man from the picture would be in and then she tried to take it back to the yard sale yeah. and the it turned out, this is a true story too, she took the picture back to the yard sale and the person's like, I never sold you that. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> and maybe, maybe that's what. Maybe so, that's yeah, what I don't. Go, mm, I don't mess with the yard sales. Don't do that. I don't bring that. anybody's that's things spooky. into my house. All right. We all think about it and now comment some sage. on our Facebook page, and we'll read some of your responses when we come back. Sorry, it got too dark. I, got, I like so it. I got, like a little ghost why, story. You know, hey, get a little sage. Sage yeah, that out. Yeah, I don't like Can't a little ghost it. story. <laughs> all right, guys. When we come back, we're going to talk fashion, and a couple of things we're talking about is minimalism. And opulence, okay? Mercedes gonna explain. I love minimalism and op opulence, both of them. Plus, he has been animating our lives for 50 years from the Beatles' Yellow Submarine to Scooby Doo. Ron Campbell is in town and in our studio. We're gonna tell you how you can meet him today and tomorrow. We'll tell you where. Coming up. Furnishings for your Carolina are provided by Jeff Lynch. Appliances, electronics, bedding, furniture.